In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Mass today. Thursday, the 1st of October. It's week 26 of the Church's year. The Masses are being offered for Charles Sagayan. It's the feast today of St. Therese of the Child Jesus, the little flower. We're also remembering Saviour and Mary Coney, Christine Galindo, Father Benito, Brian Hubbs, Paul Gallagher, Noreen Steedman, Carlos Duran, Rosa Beard, Luke Mehmet, Stephen Nightingale, Lena Vinayagam, Healing for Julio and Anna and Sheila Sagayam, and all care workers. St. Therese was born in Alençon in France on the 2nd of January 1873. Her mother, who already had breast cancer, died when Therese was four, and the family moved to Lisieux. Therese became a nun at the Carmelite convent there at the age of 15. After a long battle against the superior, who insisted that 16 or even 21 would be a more sensible age, she died of tuberculosis at the age of 24. And a year after her death, her memoirs were published in a small edition of 2000. She was canonized in 1925, the Pope suspending the rule that forbid canonization less than 50 years after someone's death. Her parents, Louis and Zelie Martin, were canonized by Pope Francis on the 18th of October 2015. Their feast day is the 12th of July. Um, readings today. Job asks his friends to have pity on him and goes on to assert his confidence in God's goodness. And Jesus sends out 72 disciples on their ministry. Let's prepare them for our Mass. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who open your kingdom to those who are humble and to little ones, lead us to follow trustingly in the little way of St. Therese, so that through her intercession we may see your eternal glory revealed. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. A reading from the book of Job. Job said, Pity me, pity me, you my friends, for the hand of God has struck me. Why do you hound me down like God? Will you never have enough of my flesh? Ah, uh, would that these words of mine were written down, inscribed on some monument, with iron chisel and engraving tool, cut into the rock forever. This I know, that my avenger lives, and he, the last, will take his stand on earth. After my awaking, he will set me close to him, and from my flesh I shall look on God. He whom I shall see will take my part. These eyes will gaze on him and find him not aloof. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
the responsorial psalm. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. O Lord, hear my voice when I call. Have mercy and answer. Of you my heart has spoken. Seek his face. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face, dismiss not your servant in anger. You have been my help. I sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him, hold firm and take heart. Hope in the Lord. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The Lord appointed 72 others and sent them out ahead of him in pairs to all the towns and places he himself was to visit. He said to them, the harvest is rich, but the laborers are few. So ask the Lord of the harvest to send laborers to his harvest. Start off now, but remember, I'm sending you out like lambs among wolves. Carry no purse, no haversack, no sandals. Salute no one on the road. Whatever house you go into, let your first words be peace to this house. And if a man of peace lives there, your peace will go and rest on him. If not, it will come back to you. Stay in the same house, taking what food and drink they have to offer, for the laborer deserves his wages. Do not move from house to house. Whenever you go into a town where they make you welcome, eat what is set before you. Cure those in it who are sick and say, the kingdom of God is very near to you. But whenever you enter a town, and they do not make you welcome. Go out into its streets and say, we wipe off the very dust of your town that clings to our feet and leave it with you. Yet be sure of this, the kingdom of God is very near. I tell you, on that day, you'll not go as hard with Sodom as with that town. The Gospel of the Lord. Joe got angered by the insults and torments of his supposed friends, but at the same time, he's so desperate that he begs their pity. He has a, a, a feeling too about God being his oppressor, who's built a wall across his path. And yet, once again in his torment, God appeals to God as his avenger. He has an utter conviction that in time to God, God will stand by the one whom he loves and not allow such a person to perish. The disciples are sent out like lambs among wolves, without food, without distractions, without baggage, without spares. There's a simplicity about this message of the coming of the kingdom, all that's involved is peace and healing. No squabbles, no fripperies, no complications of doctrine. If that were the focus of our Christian life, we might be making progress towards the kingdom of God in our lives. Let's lift up our hearts in thankfulness to God our Father, 
who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual gift. In response to the prayers, Lord, bless your people. Lord, bless your people. Father, look on the Pope, our bishops, and all Christian leaders. Sustain their faith, their love, and their courage. Lord, bless your people. Almighty God, we pray for our country. May it promote justice and brotherhood in the world. Lord, bless your people. We pray for all who live the Christian life. Father, look on them with kindness and see in them the face of your beloved Son. Lord, bless your people. Remember those who have consecrated themselves to serve you in the religious life. Enrich them in their poverty, love them in their chastity, lighten their hearts in obedience to you. Lord, bless your people. Give rest to those who have died in Christ, for with you there is mercy and fullness of redemption. Lord, bless your people. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. God our Father, you promised your kingdom to the little ones and the humble of heart. Give us grace to walk confidently in the way of Saint Therese of the Child Jesus, so that helped by her prayers, we may see your eternal glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humility. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you upon the and contract us. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me. Pray now, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we proclaim your wonders in Saint Therese, O Lord, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits were pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favour in your sight, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvellous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new, and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your Church, and recognising the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one Spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Therese, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Vincent, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Obedient to our Lord's command, let's pray as he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Shall we bow to each other as a sign of peace? Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, kindle in us the force of that love with which St. Therese dedicated herself to you and longed to obtain your mercy for all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for being at Mass today. Hope you enjoy your day. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let's go in peace now to love and to serve the Lord.